We're doing a Mason carbon steel eight inch skillet unboxing. We're going to season it. We're gonna cook in it, eggs, egg test. So we're gonna be doing a review of the Mason eight inch carbon steel pan. These are made in China. I don't know why they say this. It says they're made in China, just outside Shanghai. As if that's supposed to be important, is it? But you know what, it sounds good. It's made in China, just outside Shanghai. That, I think that's good writing, that's good copywriting. All right, double boxed, good. I need my glasses. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. I do like their little logo. They're just dots, but it's it's a nice logo. Thanks for choosing the Mason Carbon Steel Pan. This tool was meticulously designed. We hope you enjoy this pan as much as uh, we enjoyed crafting it. One thing I liked was that the handle is supposed to be stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about the handle rusting. That's pretty cool. I mean, if you don't season the handle. It's got a protective coating we're gonna to have to remove. It's fairly shallow. Oh, eight and five eighths. Really nice silicone handle. It's, it's, they didn't skimp, it's not a wimpy. It's not a wimpy handle. We've got the logo. Where I think they fail in their design, this was mentioned online as well, there's a space in between the handle and the pan. There is no way anyone will be ever there is no way anyone will be ever... <laughs> there is no way anyone will ever... <laughs> I don't know, what am I saying? There is no way anyone will be able to clean in there. Only two rivets, two small rivets. Let's see how the handle, the handle comes off easy. Two pounds, seven ounces. That's 7.9, two pounds, eight ounces. Seasoning instructions. To remove the protective coating, preheat the oven to 400. Place pan upside down directly on the middle rack with a sheet pan on the bottom of the oven to catch any melted wax for 30 minutes. Remove from oven and carefully wipe off any residual wax or residue. They don't say to wash it. Apply seasoning, wax, oil, wiping off any excess. The pan should be totally dry. Place pan upside down in 400 degree oven for one hour. Turn off and let cool. Repeat four to seven times. I was inclined to do this on the stove, uh, but I think we're going to follow their instructions. That's our first coat. I don't know if you can tell. Coat number one. Round two. This has been seasoned four times. As per instructions, 400 degrees for an hour. I know when people season cast iron, they sometimes leave it in for two hours at 450. I'm following the directions. I'm gonna do it one more time. It said four to seven times. Good Sunday morning. Here we have the pan with five coats of seasoning. Let's make some eggs. I've got some Organic Valley 
Gi, and I am out of homemade Gi. It looks very nice. I love the stainless steel handle. I love the silicone handle. But this cooking area is actually bigger than the burner. I know, you want a larger cooking area. I've got overhang on my smaller burner. That may not be such a great thing. Also, the sides are, are low. So if I cook a burger in this, I'm going to have splatter. Pros and cons, pros and cons! Lowered the heat down to two. Egg totally slid over here. Is it sticking? I've already got some sticking going on. That's not good. That's not good. I do better in visions. We don't want sticking right away. Look at that. That's too bad. And it's sticking again over here. Oh, look. Look at that. If I flip this, I'm gonna break the yolk. I'm not gonna... Oh. First egg test, fail. Really stuck. Pan does not look so good anymore. Should we try butter? Now that was organic valley ghee. That was not homemade ghee. Maybe homemade ghee would have worked better. That's not too much butter. I'm, I'm at three and a half. I'm gonna lower it again to down to like two. Scrambled eggs. Oh, okay. That's good. Maybe we'll try one more egg sunny side up now. We'll try it with butter. I like my scrambled a little bit soft. So these are done. Less sticking than the first time. A little sticking. Butter. Here we go. Straight out of the egg. How we doing? Oh, so far so good. I think this egg, that's a slider. And we slot up, yeah, look. One failed, two successes using butter, who knew? I am gonna flip this baby. It's gonna be a horrible flip, let's do it. There you go. If I don't touch the egg, will it slide? No. No sliding without moving it. This egg is done though. Comes off pretty easy. That cleaned up pretty nice. Silly to try it, we'll take one bite of each. Yep, tastes like carbon steel. I'm just kidding. Good scrambled eggs. Mmm. You have to make scrambled with butter anyway. Any residue on the bottom? No. And we saw that when we flipped it. This is the failed one. Ghee. After the first egg stuck and I scraped it under water, some of the seasoning came up. You saw the second egg with the scrambled eggs was, was really good. Third egg was really good. A little sticking after the flip. 
sides of the pan are too low for cooking hamburger or a small steak. That's a, that could be a problem. What they've done here, they've got a beautiful stainless steel handle. You can't fault that. Got a beautiful silicone handle. You can't fault that. Pan feels solid. You're only getting two rivets instead of the three you usually see. This is probably overkill, but this pan is heavier. Is it worth the price? I don't know. If you love if you love carbon steel and you want to play, it has a very nice shape. You're never going to be able to clean in here. Sits flat. You know what we're going to say. Thanks for watching.